nice to see me, Captain. Where's the cat? What? What cat? Mister, do you want to go into stasis for the rest of the trip and forth at 18 months' wages? No. Do you want to hand over that cat? No. Choose. Months. Holly, activate the stasis field. Okay, Frank. Good morning, Dave. It is now safe for you to emerge from stasis. I've only just got in. Where is everybody on? They're dead, Dave. Who is? Everybody, Dave. The drive plate was inefficiently repaired. It blew. And the entire crew was subjected to a lethal dose of cadmium too before I could seal the area. How long was I in stasis? Three million years. Three million years! I've thought about that live, people. <laughs> Hello, Lister. Long time no see. Remember you in a hologram? Yes, that's because I'm dead. Dead as a can of spam. Lister, just hold your horses. Listen to me. <laughs> to make myself look big. <laughs> fearsome. I was fearsome. Holly, what was that? During the radioactive crisis state, your cat and her kittens were safely sealed in the hole. And they've been breeding there for three million years and have evolved into the life form you just saw in the corridor. I don't get it. Well, you know how mankind evolved from apes. Yeah, I know that. He evolved from cats. His ancestors were cats. Descended from cats, he is a cat. Oh, yeah. Cat? Look out, there! The slime's coming home! Punch it up. Thank goodness. My name is Craig. I'm a service mechanoid on the Nova 5. We've had a terrible accident. Please help us. Travels, we've met precisely 31 individuals, 3 1, and we've never felt moved to invite a single one to join our crew. True, most of them wanted in some way to suck out our brains <laughs> or erase us from history altogether. As we are all aware, we have lost Red Dwarf. This is not the time for small-minded, petty recrimination. The time for that is when we get back to Earth and Lister is court martial. <laughs> they didn't lose him. Come on, Lister, you're the one who parked it. <laughs> you're the one who can't remember which planetoid you left it around. Not the same as with the blue-green planetoid. Blue-green and planetoid. What is it? Well, I don't know, sir. Whichever way I maneuver, it follows us. It seems to be locked in on us. Wait, there's something coming out of it. It's going to hit us! Collision course! Oh. Agency! My name's Commander Rimmer. Arnold Rimmer. Friends call me Ace. I've come from another dimension. I'll explain later. But first of all, let's get you out of this pickle. My God, it's me. I'm much more handsome. Bath City. I bet you anything he wears women's underwear. <laughs> They're all the same this type, you know. Hurly burly, rough and tumble macho marines in public, and behind closed doors he'll be parading up and down in taffeta ball gowns, drinking mint juleps, whipping the houseboy. Princess Bongella, Ace Rimmer. There'll be time for explanations later, and hopefully some sex. <laughs> what is it? What's the joke? It's just that Ace is just talking about trying to get you to be the next Ace Rimmer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sadly, I've got to sort out my shoe collection, or I'd have jumped at it like a shot. It's part of the legend. I'm not the first ace, not even the second. There have been, well, let's just say more than a couple. As one ace dies, he recruits his replacement from a parallel dimension. 
it's just you, you know, the next day. <laughs> the very idea. It's not so ridiculous, Lister. Other versions of me have turned into him. In fact, if I wasn't needed around here so badly, I think I'd very likely take him up on it. Remember, don't take this the wrong way. How could you be the next ace? I mean, you're a gutless, spineless, gaunless, directionless, neurotic, underachieving, snivelling, cowardly, vileless Meg. No offence. <laughs> but get real, man. Most eunuchs have got more balls than you. Well, that, my fine madras guzzling friend, is where you were wrong. Because I've taken Ace up on his offer. And training begins... right now. You can fool your crewmates into thinking you're me. We'll know you're ready. <laughs> One of the knights has escaped from the AR machine. It's killed Rimmer. Isn't that right, Ace? It's been a blast, fellas. Bye, man. Bye, dude. Au revoir, Mr. Ace, sir. Stoke me a clipper. I'll be back for Christmas. <laughs> Whatever. But what about Chrissy? What about Chrissy Kajanski? She's dead, Dave. Far away. She didn't get put into stasis and died with the rest of the crew. Then Holly brought me back as a hologram. So what happened to Kajanski? They found the cat and she got six months in stasis. Does that mean? Hi. You look great. You look pretty amazing yourself. So in this dimension, you didn't die. You're an alternate version of Dave. Well, I like to think of myself as a definitive version, you know, home to perfection by time and evolution. I see why you think that, yeah. So it worked out for you guys, then. Congratulations. The officer somehow they managed to infiltrate non-space. <sighs> Hand on to my feet, man. <sighs> <sighs>
safe. Selby? Chev? Is it really you? Is it really us? Hang on, I'll check. <laughs> yeah, I think it's us. Guys, this is brilliant! I can't believe it! You know these people, sir? This is the Red Dwarf crew, Crichty. How? The nanos must have resurrected them along with the ship. <laughs> the crew are all alive, sir. This is great news. Wonderful, marvellous, incredible news. All that extra ironing. <laughs> Mr. Thornton, read them their rights. David listed you are formally charged with stealing a crash at a Starbuck. You're also charged with having no pilot's licence and smuggling two stowaways on board along with Navigation Officer Christine Kachansky. Anything you say now or do not say now may be used in a board of inquiry against you. What's this rumour that went three million light years into deep space and made dwarfs change shape? <sighs> that is classified information, Karen. Who the hell told you that? A coffee machine on G-Day. Damn coffee machine. I'm gonna bust his ass down the tampon dispenser. <laughs> Two years. Two years without curry and lager. Two years without sex. You hope? Remember. <laughs> Words out, they're gonna throw the book at you, Listy. Followed by the bookcase and then the library. Brick by brick. God, is you like you used to be? It's gonna sound nuts. But the whole crew died, including you. And you've all been resurrected by these microscopic little robots. It is the finding of this inquiry that you have been found guilty of contravening Act 21 of the Space Federation. For sentencing, you will have medical so you can be assigned appropriate prisons. The Red Dwarf was being devoured from within by a corrosive microorganism. As you probably know, we don't have enough craft for everyone to be rescued, so most of you will be staying behind to die. Oh, there's an apology about that in the internment. Something that could neutralize the corrosive negativity of the micro. So what the corrosive positives? So where did we get that? The mirror universe. The universe where things are diametrically opposite to this one. There, negative becomes positive, and a virus becomes an antidote. If there's even the slightest imperfection in the prism, the mirror universe may be an imperfect version of our own. The antidote. I did it! Everyone! They've repaired the machine and crossed into the mirror universe. You're the highest rank crew member left on the ships, I suppose. That makes you captain. Congratulations, Cat. Speak off!